Until now, the placenta has filtered out the fetus's waste. Now, the kidneys are functioning. The embryos are excreting urine into the amniotic fluid they're floating in. To protect their delicate, developing eyes, the lids are fused shut. While this feature is common to both wolf and dog, there is one part of the dog's anatomy that varies more than any other, the ears. With a month to go, the ears are well-defined on all our fetuses. The inner ear has already formed. The middle and external ear are still growing. Domestication has made dog's ears droop or even hang down completely. It's an example of a phenomenon biologists call neoteny. When adults retain infant-like characteristics, in some ways, dogs never grow up. They remain almost puppy-like, with floppy ears and wagging tails. This is partly due to early man choosing juvenile behavior, such as sociability and submissiveness, the byproduct being the retention of these other juvenile characteristics. Yet not all breeds are floppy-eared. In some cases, man has actually recreated the wolf's stand-up ears, and sometimes purely for aesthetics, as in the Chihuahua. <laughs> 